Go ahead. All right, got Pat Boussier here for the um, Brian Garcia versus Javante Davis press conference. How you doing today, man? Great, man. So, uh, no complaints, no complaints, man. So, you know, gotta start off, man. Who you got? Man, I gotta be honest, which is a tough fight. Two good fighters, but I think Tank, I think Tank gonna walk him down. Do you think it's gonna be relatively easy for him, or do you think Ryan is gonna give him some difficulty in there, man? I think Ryan is a tough fighter. You can't front on him. He got speed. You know what I'm saying? Um. But it's going to be an exchange, but I think eventually Tank will walk him down. What is it exactly about Tank? Obviously, he has a lot of star power. He has a lot of knockout power. But what is it about Tank that just makes everybody kind of gravitate towards him? Like, even yourself, um, we don't really see, like, superstar rappers coming to, like, press conferences or coming to, like, a ton of fights. But whenever Tank pops out, you guys always show up. So what is it about Tank? Tank, I think um, he, put, he, he puts it all. He leaves it all in the ring. You know what I'm saying? He's he not afraid to get hit because he's got confidence in what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm um, saying, you know, anytime you look at somebody who grew up doing something that they do, since he was little, you can find footage of him as a little kid, you know what I'm saying, doing it. So it's evidently he does this for real. And just his dedication, man, he's he true to what he's doing. You know? I don't think nobody can get him right now. You don't think anybody Why he's in his prime? Nah. All right, so then let me ask you this. Who would you consider maybe his toughest fight? Do you think it would be Ryan? Do you think it could be like a Devin Haney, a Shakur Stevenson? If you don't think those guys can beat him, who do you think, when you look at that other guy, he's just like, I still think Tank's going to win, but damn, that dude right I think, there. I think his toughest, out of the ones you just named, I would have to say Haney. Mm, like that, Stevenson man. is tough. Haney's different. Mm. <laughs> I mean, immaculate, immaculate boxer. Mm. So, you know, him and, him and Tank would be very interesting. Yeah. Shakur Stevenson is another problem. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, I would, I would, I would say Haney. I would, I would Pat, Pat you ranked this one of the biggest fighters of the year, Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis, over like maybe even Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. for another great, big fight for That's boxing. That's another big fight. To me, those are equivalent. This is what we need in boxing, man. Like, yeah. I hate all of the pick and picking opponents. You know, we tired of that. We respect everything. Everybody got to do what they got to do to eat. Yeah. But we want to see the best fight the best, yeah. right? So this is what we're getting here. So you got to take your hat off and... and First of all, you gotta salute both of these guys for getting in the ring with each other while they're in their primes. It never happens. So I respect it, but but um I think the Arrow Spence and Crawford fight and this uh, equivalent. Yeah, I would yeah. put one of them out. You mentioned how the fight best uh fight but fights the best, right? It's almost like the young bucks teaching the rest of the veterans in the game that it right. could be done no matter what promoter, now network that's always been the problem in boxing. Yeah, I mean I get it, I get it. You know what I'm saying? If you had a fighter and you invested in them, you want them to lose. You want to be rather keep yeah. let them keep getting paid days, or you want to go in there with somebody who's gonna kill them, no more money. Yeah. Let's be honest, right? I mean, I understand it from the business aspect, but as fans of boxing, we love this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We want to see the best fight, the best. It's kind of selfish, but that's what we want. We want to see it. So we gotta respect the fighters who are willing to get in there and put it all on the line. Yeah. Because these are two guys. Let's be honest. It can go either way because the talent is on the same level. In terms of the style of, uh, you know, Tank has one style, the way he fights. Ryan Garcia has another style how he fights. Is this a fight? Is there any fight that reminds you of like previous super fights based on their styles? Like Tank is a power puncher. Ryan's more like he fights in the inside, uses his distance. Is there any fight from the pre previous that reminds you? I don't know the last time we seen two two guys in the prime, man. Okay. When was the last time we, we we wanted it would be hopping Roy Jones. Never happened. We wanted it with, with, with Money May and um, Pacquiao. Never happened. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? We got it eventually, but it didn't happen when we wanted it to happen. So you really got to salute these two for making this happen. I'm hoping that Errol Spence and Crawford, you know what I mean, are able to work it out. At, as at, well. this, at this stage in their career, we've been acting for that um, Spence versus Crawford fight for um, now for England. Um, Errol just turned 33. Um, Crawford is 35. Do you think it's still as big of a fight? Do you still think those guys are like at their absolute peak right now, man? Yes, absolutely. If it happens now, if we get to 23, yes, absolutely. If we wait a couple more years, yeah. it's changed. How do you break down that fight between Spence and Crawford? Gotta put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tough one, man. That's very tough, man. Terrence Crawford is immaculate. Like, you haven't seen, we haven't seen a fighter like that in a long, long time. Spence is tough. Spence is a dog. I'm a mind my business on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a mind my business. If I had to lean, 
I'm taking my head off the cross. A, a, a surprise. We're not. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm not a surprise, but I remember the last time we met. I don't know if you remember, um, 2017, you was with Bottle Jack backstage. I don't know. That's my guy. That's my guy. He just won the, uh, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, the Cruiserweight title. How do you feel about yeah, that? I'm, I'm happy, man. Well deserved, humble, great guy, tough fighter, man. Never quits, never gives up. Leaves it all in the wing, man. Mm. Shout out to Bottle Jack, man. That's my brother right there. Would love to know who do you consider the best fighter right now? And regardless of weight classes, who's the number one guy you think right now about? Pound for pound. Pound for pound. Can I get two? Yeah. Crawford and Tank. Crawford and yeah. Tank. Gotcha. So how do you kind of view, like, kind of like the bigger guys? Nick like, three and Haney. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you kind of view, like, kind of like the bigger guys, like Tyson Fury, um, Deontay Wilder? How do you kind of view those guys? Like, Yo, man, I love Wilder, man. Wilder got dynamite in his gloves, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We haven't seen that kind of power in a long, long time. I really wanted him to beat Fury. I just don't understand who the fuck went over there and woke Fury up. <laughs> God was going, man. He was going. Especially the first fight. And it's, it's like, it was like he was, had to go to work and his fucking alarm clock was ringing. His fucking died just, That's a good analogy. He kindly got up. Like, you ever seen the commercials back in the days? Gotta make the donuts. He just like, and I was like, no fucking way. So you really can't take nothing away from um, the bronze bomber. Because the average guy get hit with that type of shot, it's over. Yeah. This guy Fury is different. The motherfucker woke up <laughs> out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Both fights. So I don't take nothing away from from, from Wilder, man. He, he I, that, a lot of people don't like him. They say what they say, but yo, that motherfucker. Yeah. You got heart, man. Just he got heart, and I was just so disappointed, man, because I, I really feel like he was supposed to win win, win those fights. But it is what it is. But I respect Tyson Fury. Yeah. Um, just my last question for you. Um, I know you said that you believe that Tank is going to eventually walk Tank, walk Ryan down. I do. Um, you know, it's Ryan's been dropped before um, by a guy that doesn't hit as hard as Tank. Um, and Luke Campbell showed a lot of character. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you look at that? Because you know, a lot of people would say that you know, if Ryan doesn't necessarily have a chance, but would you look at him more so like, yeah, he got dropped, but he showed what he's about. When he I'll tell you this: a lot of fighters brag about not getting dropped. I'd rather see a guy who got dropped because we know. What he's going to do is put him in a predicament. These guys who never touch earth, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if they're going to cry, go home. You understand what I'm saying? He showed a lot of resilience. But in Tank's favor, if Tank hits you like that, you ain't getting up. It's good night.